In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an EXP level up system like seen here. All right, so to get started, the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your character blueprint. Once this is open, we're going to create some variables. So the first variable we're going to create is we're going to call it a level level. Yeah, we'll just call it level and we will change this to an integer. And this is basically going to be the numbers that we need to like reach the level and so forth, like how much XP you need and how much the XP is actually going to be added. So the next variable we are going to do here is we're going to create a just a basic exp and this is also going to be an integer and then lastly we're going to do an exp needed and this is going to tell you how much xp you're going to actually need to do the level up and this is the xp that you're going to be getting from a specific item or monster or whatever it may be that you have set up. So now just compile and save. And what you can do is you can come down to the EXP needed and we can actually change the default value here. I'm going to set it to a basic 10, but of course you can change how much you need in order to level up. And then from here, you are going to want to create a new function. <laughs> and this function is going to be called add E exp and this is the process of actually adding the exp to our character from the object to create the leveling up process so once that's done you are going to want to add an input and we're going to change this input here and call it exp and we are going to change this to an integer drag off and you're going to want to do an integer plus an integer and then just simply bring in the exp process for us to add the exp to our character all right now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our exp once again and we will just connect these two and then what we are going to do is from the exp green dot here we're going to come down and we're going to do greater than or equal to integer and this is the process of like how much exp that we need in order to launch uh, the level up process for our check and to do that just bring in the exp that is needed and then just create a branch and we will connect that in to the condition as well and just compile and save to make sure that's safe and good all right so now what we're going to do is off this false you can play a sound uh 2d wise and of course i'm not going to put anything in here because this is going to be completely up to you but this is how you would play it when you get exp coming in but you haven't quite leveled up yet now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the leveling up process which is true and to so do that we're going to bring in our level and we're going to get the level and then from here we are also going to drag out and we are going to do increment which basically just means that like it's going to add integer plus integer for us it's going to be really simple and then we are going to connect it into our true now what we're also going to do is like let's say you need a 10 xp to level up but you got 15 from killing a monster 20 from killing a monster a boss whatever and so what's going to happen is we're going to level you up but then we're going to carry that over so if it was 15 you're going to have an additional 5 xp so then you would only need five more to level up and continue the process over and over so to do that this is what you do you are going to get the exp and then you're going to drag out and do minus integer minus integer and then you're also going to connect in the exp needed and then to finish that up you're just going to set the exp to whatever that is and then just drag that down and connect it so we'll just shift this and make the code a little bit cleaner okay so for this next part what's going to happen is we're going to set it so that you're going to need more and more exp every time you level up so it gets continuously more difficult so to do that you're going to want to bring in and get exp and then from here you're going to multiply by a float and we're going to set this to a percentage uh so if we wanted to do 20 percent we are going to do 1.2 if we wanted to do 50 percent it would be 1.5 etc so just customize that accordingly and then what you're also going to do is from the multiply drag out and do a function and then which basically converts this back into an integer and then you're going to want to drag out and you are going to do a clamp and what's this 
what this clamp is doing is basically setting the max level so like it won't continue on forever now you don't necessarily need this this just basically makes sure that like once you get to level 100 you're not going to like level 9999 so we're just going to basically set the max level for 50 for this example and then the minimum is your starting point of like zero levels and then what you are going to do is you're going to want to bring in and set another exp connect this to your original there we go connect that to your original and then your xp is also going to be your return value here as well and then lastly you're just going to drag out and you're going to play a sound if you want to at 2d and this is going to be your level up sound one thing i do want to cover though is the output for our function and i forgot to do that earlier and what we're going to do is just we're going to call this level in case you need this later on for anything that you want to specifically do this is not needed but it's just for uh, simplicity's sake and then just drag in your level as well and then we'll just move that down as such all right so now what we're going to do is i'm basically going to be showing you how to apply the code to like your monsters and your bosses and so on what i did was i just created a really quick blueprint actor class and i just kind of made like a coin this is just really quick and put together as an example so just don't worry about what it looks like only on your end for your monsters and such but what you're going to do is you're going to want to do a hit collision and from the other you're going to want to cast to third person character or whatever your character is and then as the third person character you're going to call a function and our function was the add experience. And then from here, you're going to want to do random integer in range. And this is basically setting to XP. So like, let's say I fought the boss and the boss can drop anywhere from one XP to five XP. That is basically how you apply it. And then just apply this code to whatever your monsters are or whatever you have in place to be actually giving the XP in the first place. One more thing, drag out and destroy actor because you definitely don't want these to be continuing to stay around uh, so they can just, you know, break the game and continue to level up. So now that this is done, let's actually create the widget to show like the level up. So go to user interface and create widget. We'll call this level. And once that's done, open this up and you are going to want to create a progress bar and put this wherever uh for me specifically i am just going to fast forward this real quick and i'll get right to you when this is done okay so now that's done i basically add a progress bar and then a text block here to just talk about like what level we are then go to graph and you're going to delete everything except the event construct and then what you're going to do is you're going to cast to third person character or whatever your character is and the object is going to get player get player character there he is and then as the third person character we're going to promote this to a variable and we're going to change this variable to character reference that way we get the information we need for like our progress bar and so on so compile and save go back to the designer click the progress bar and you're going to want to create a binding and from here what you're going to do is you're going to get a character reference and then you're going to drag out and you are going to get exp there it is and you're also going to want to get exp needed and this is basically going to be getting the information we need to have our bar increase okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide these two to get the percentage that is like our actual xp so to do that we are going to convert these to float and to float and then we are going to just divide the float by float and run that in to our return value and that is basically all set and done and then if we go back to our event, not event graph, back to our designer and click our text box and go to our graph. If we click our text box and we create a binding as well, what we can do is we can get to character reference like we have before. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to drag out, get level. And then from here, we're going to do two text integer. From our two text integer, we're going to get a four text. We are going to do the following. So make sure that you follow this level colon 
the little squiggly parenthesis thing, X, and then the other parenthesis thingy, like that. And then just connect our X to the return value, and then our result is going to be our return value on our note here. So basically, it's converting like the the actual like physical number into like a text, and then our text is actually going to be readable and displayed. So when we get XP and we go from one to two, it's going to change from one to two. I know that kind of sounds really weird, but just trust me on that. All right. So to actually have this show up, we are going to go back to our third person, and we are going to do on begin play we are going to create a widget widget and the widget is going to be the one that we just created which is our level up bar and our return value is going to be add to viewport there we go and so basically when we play it's going to be putting the bar at the top and then just compile and save so now with that all done, what I did was I put in some of our coin actors here. And when I play, you can see that our level up bar is at the top. And as I walk along and collect these coins, our XP is being added. And of course, the sound will play if you have it in place. But as we continue to go here, we go to level two and then level three and so on as such. But there you go.